You know, when it comes to entertainment, it's not just on the field when it comes to sports, but sports movies are something that I always will try to seek out. And, you know, look, there's one person I got to bring in when it comes to his movie knowledge and especially his sports movie knowledge. That's Mitch Spinell from 92.3 The Fan. And, you know, Mitch, thank you for joining me, first of all. And second of all, you know, when it comes to these tier rankings, so what, I, what we're trying to do here is, you know, put these sports movies into perspective, you know, in the S tier, the A tier, B tier, C tier, and D tier and so we have 10 movies here so let's go ahead just go through them all and to start let's start with 42 the Jackie Robinson story that came out a few years ago yeah Mac I actually have some props here that I wanted to bring up uh, before <laughs> the movie started if I can get them here yeah so 42 um, is obviously the uh, kind of life and early career of Jackie Robinson uh, the first man to break baseball's color barrier for the Brooklyn Dodgers back in 1947. You don't get a lot of sports biopics these days. The last one I can remember really is American Underdog, but this is one that is very good. Obviously, Chadwick Boseman, uh, the late Chadwick Boseman, is fantastic in the film, and Harrison Ford playing uh, Branch Rickey is actually, to me, really inspired casting. And uh, this one I'd probably put um, on a beats here. I think it's a very solid film. See, I, I tend to agree with you, too. I, I love the film, honestly. And like you said, Chadwick Boseman's portrayal in this is, is phenomenal, and I absolutely love this movie. Um, so for me, I, I think that you know, putting it in that B tier, I think that's definitely fair. Um, but uh, the next movie that we have uh, is one that I know that you're very passionate about, and that is uh, one Bull Durham. Yeah, this is one that I actually do own, but uh, this is uh, another one that I don't, well, I think it's a solid film. I don't think it's as good as everyone thinks it is. I think it's it's a very capable film. There are times where it can be funny. There are a lot of talented people working in it. Um, I just think it goes a little too long at the end and maybe some of the jokes don't quite as land. And then, I, I don't know. For, for me, I'd probably put it... Uh, Maybe maybe C list if not lower, but C list I can I, I'm okay with. Now, Mitch, when it comes to this this next film, it, it's a classic. You know, everybody everybody loves it. You know, there's always nothing but references to it. But it's Caddyshack. Yeah, yeah, I actually have it right here. And then uh, <laughs> Caddyshack is honestly one of my favorite sports comedies because it's very quotable as you kind of mentioned everyone always references it there are a lot of great performers in it as well i mean chevy chase bill murray uh rodney dangerfield and one i think his first big movie and then of course ted knight as judge smales it really works as a sort of screwball comedy and the story isn't quite linear you just sort of have these little vignettes kind of tying together at the end but i really enjoy it i'd probably put it um at the beats here probably maybe if not a now, Mitch, when it comes to, you know, th that film and when it comes to comedies in general, when it comes to sports, I, I feel like there's been a few every every now and then. But, you know, I feel like Caddyshack, like, like you mentioned, it's one of those classics that you have to mention just about every time that it comes up. But, you know, even when it comes to some of those just those sports comedies in general, you know, where do you kind of put it when it comes to, you know, those sports comedy movies as well? In terms of a comedy, I mean, it's definitely up there. It's probably one of the, the more revered ones, and especially in terms of a golf movie. There aren't a ton of golf movies, but when you mention that sport in a film, this one is usually towards the top. I mean, I've been on the golf course many times, and I can't tell you the amount of quotes that I'll just throw out there from time to time. Yeah, and, and I mean, hell, you know that just about everybody's going to be tossing those out there as well. But, you know, Mitch, on top of that, um, you know, we also have – Cleveland Classic, because uh, let's be honest, it, it, you have to mention it. Major League, if we're talking about comedies as well. Major League, see, the, and this is why I bring Mitch on, because, of course, he always has them at the ready. He has them, he pretty much has them all at the ready. Um, but real quick, where would you have Caddyshack again? I, I personally had it in the B column. I could put it in the A, but I think B is more of a, a, a significant spot for what my tastes are. Okay. All right, I got you. I got you. So tell us about Major League, what your thoughts are about Major League and where you would go ahead and place that in the tier rankings. Look, we're, Cle we're Cleveland guys. I mean, obviously, we, we grew up as uh, Cleveland baseball fans, and this is the one that everybody – uh, this is the one that everybody used for years when the team wasn't as competitive. They would continually put this on and get emotional to see the team finally win <laughs> to get into the playoffs at the end. And then you have 
uh, fantastic characters played by fantastic actors in this one. And it really is more of a, uh, a serious story, particularly with the uh, main character played by Tom Berenger and uh, his love, his love story with Rene Russo in this is really good. Uh, kind of put together with all these sort of jokes and sort of crazy moments between one of the most uh, wildly put together teams in fictional major league baseball history. And where would you go ahead and throw that in terms of the tears here? Because again, I, I know it's a tough, I know it's a tough ask, but where would you go ahead and throw it in there? This is a, this is a for me. I think this is uh it, it, it's definitely one of the funniest uh, sports comedies I've seen. Yeah, you know, I, I really tend to agree, and out of anything, I love Willie Mays Hayes, but uh, when, yeah. it comes, when it comes to these movies, you know, you get some of the lighter-hearted ones, then you also get some of, the, some of the other side of it. So, you know, take us through, what are your thoughts on The Natural? Well, The Natural is one that I, uh, is, if not my second favorite baseball movie, it's definitely number three, because it is one of the most uh, heart-wrenching dramas that you can get from, especially at a time where uh, Robert Redford was at his apex. It has a classic score that you've likely heard before from, uh, I'm blanking on his name right now, but it is a very good, uh, Randy Newman, excuse me. Um, but it is a very well-done drama that chronicles the sort of uprise from this guy who wanted to become a professional ball player, looked at be the most naturally gifted uh, player ever, gets sidetracked for a number of years, and then gets his moment and then you see sort of the behind the scenes stuff uh, that he's going through uh, as the movie goes on. And a fantastic ending to boot. Now, when it comes to, when it comes to tears, where are you throwing this one in there, Mitch? Uh, it's between A and B. I, I'm more inclined to say A. I don't think a lot of people would agree with me, but I would put this up at A just because the ending, much like Major League, the ending has very little, if no, if any, dialogue just the uh, the score is playing out, and it's very emotional. It's well done, I think. 